Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and today I am excited to take you on a tour of my entryway. Of course, you know Mike and I have moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, and our entryway is a bit smaller. We're in an apartment, and so I thought it would be great to share with you some tips on small space organizing when it comes to your entryway. So let's get started. So friends, welcome into my entryway. And I wanna give you an overview first so that you can just get a look at it. I know, uh, you know we love seeing um, spaces and how they look overall before we get started. But as you can see, there is absolutely no windows, which means no light comes into this space. And our entryway is our first impression space. That is that space that welcomes anyone that comes to your home and also welcomes you when you come home every day. And so it's important that it's um, very comforting, it's just beautiful, and it really makes you feel good when you enter your space. So there are three things that I think about when I'm organized in a small entryway space. So one is lighting. You know, I definitely you'll notice in my space that I have three point lighting here on the table here. I have my lamp. And then I also, if you look straight ahead, I have a light over the artwork. And then to my left, I also have this up light just really, that just really brings a nice warmth and ambiance to the space. The next thing that I think about when it comes to organizing an entryway is the storage. And this is so key because our entryway needs to function for us. It needs to be a place where we can drop our keys, also a place to drop shoes and you know our handbags and different things like that. You know, Mike and I have Bentley and Albert, so we need the convenience of having all of their pet items when we need to take them for a walk. And so how I incorporated storage, I wanted it to really be where you really didn't see the function and so i do have a place here where we store our shoes one for guests and then one for mike and i and actually for guests i have this simple tray that i have under the cabinet you don't see it but it's simple easy and it works the next we have these two drawers in which you can see where one drawer is for my shoes and then the secondary drawer that is for mike's shoes so you all know me, you know I don't like to see a lot of stuff. I don't like to see a lot of color and I want things to look very streamlined. So when it comes to this area here, I knew I needed a place for Bentley and Albert's leash and all of those things, but I wanted to disguise it. So what I chose to use as my organizing system was a handbag. Because it just looks authentic, it looks natural to see a handbag hanging on the hook, but no one knows that this is really where I store all of their leashes and collars and bags and all the pet items. The next is because we live in a small space now, it's open. So everything is kind of in the open. The kitchen, you look into the living room and I can even see the living room from the entryway. And so there's, you know, when we're lounging and I'm watching TV, I want a blanket. So what I decided to do is use my little throw blanket on the other hook because it's just there for convenience. But it adds, adds to the aesthetic, it's not in the way, and it's easy for me to get to. Along with, of course, an umbrella for when it rains, it makes it easy, you know, for coming and going. But because I have this bench here, it gives me the opportunity to really just bring warmth to the space by adding simple throw pillows. It just kind of warms up the space. And I didn't want to get a custom bench seat or anything like that, because that could be costly. And of course, this is a temporary home for us. And then of course, those keys. You need somewhere that you can throw your keys or when your husband or wife comes in, they have a place to just drop and run. And so having this little tray here helps me corral a place for Mike to throw his keys, for me to put special items that I need to make sure that I get before I leave the house, but it still looks aesthetically beautiful. In a small space, you know, storage is valuable. And in a big home also, we love our real estate that allows us to store our things. So this is the same entryway cabinet that we had in the other house. And so I didn't change the function much. And I'm so happy that the cabinet fit in this space because it really saved me. Because you all know, I like to have a drawer for our games. This is a place where we can just go to get all of those games when we wanna play Monopoly or cards or whatever the case may be. So this system has not changed from our previous home. Now the drawer above it, it has changed a little slightly. You remember in my old home, I had another cabinet upstairs in the entryway at the top landing. 
But now I have all of our blankets, additional blankets for when we're lounging in the living room in that second drawer. And then the top one, I've really transitioned to be more of a drawer for storing all of my candles. I don't know necessarily that I'm gonna keep this system here. I want to have more um, of that setup that I had before where I had amenities for my guests, but that is something that is definitely on my to-do list and so I'll be getting to that soon. But as you can see, the structure here gives me plenty of storage and it's really convenient being right here in the entryway. Now friends, one thing that I love about this entryway versus my last home is that I'm able to put a mirror in the space. So as you can see, a mirror is a great source to put in a small entryway because it makes the space feel larger. Another thing, I love the fact that when I'm coming and going, I can easily look at myself and check myself before I leave the house. So it's really, it brings a lot of function with that also. And then by having a cabinet in your entryway, it really gives you the opportunity to kind of bring a warmth and it gives an inviting feel to the space. And so I'm so glad that I can put a cabinet in the space along with i love that i can add some green life into the space i think when you have a space that does not have windows or it's kind of dark by being able to put plant life in there whether it's um, real or fake it really can brighten up the space and so that's exactly what i did here but the plant actually has function because if you look straight ahead i have this beautiful cove and i've chosen a piece of artwork that fits nicely in it and I've added that light that I mentioned above to really brighten up the space, but I put a plant, a tall plant directly under the picture. And a lot of it is for aesthetics, but it also is for function. Because I have that picture light and I'm in an apartment, I really don't wanna have to go behind the wall. So my cord is dropping behind my picture and that plant is hiding where that cord is plugged in. So use your things when you're trying to hide cords because we always, of course, want to hide cords. Use plants and decorative items to really hide your cords when you're organizing your entryway. So friends, these are the elements of my entryway. I hope these tips could be helpful to you if you have a small space or even if you have just a, a mid or large size entryway, these tips will totally work. Definitely let me know in the comments below kind of what is the setup of your entryway. You guys know I want to know the colors. I want to know if you have a, a huge entryway or small entryway. Also, let me know your favorite tip of today. I always want to know what you have enjoyed from the content. And don't forget to catch me on Amazon every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I go live on there showing tons of products. Even a lot of these products here are from Amazon. I will definitely link them in the description box below. Have a beautiful day, my friends. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.